When dogs are barking and whining in class, owners learn less and leave class pretty stressed out. Not to mention, having the barking dog in class is not fun. It is very stressful for the owner of the barking dog, and most likely the dog is stressed too. This is why the enrollment application asks if your dog will bark more than a couple minutes. Dogs that will bark more than a couple minutes are transferred to private training. This is not to say the dogs are going to be completely silent. There will be some vocalizations. But we want to minimize the barking and whining and set ourselves up for as much success as possible. First, we should assume our dog is going to do some barking. That is what dogs do. But we want to be prepared to deal with it. Your first line of defense is to bring a safe animal product chew to class. The chew is only put down if your dog is going to vocalize. It can occupy the dog from getting bored. If your dog is not vocalizing, don't put the chew item down. There are two main types of barking problems that will happen in class, attention-getting barking and fear-based barking, and what you do about each type is different. Attention getting barking is when the dog is barking at you to get your attention or when the dog is happy and barking at another dog. I understand this can be very stressful, but I have a great solution for you. Because this is an attention getting behavior, we want to remove all attention from the dog. Stop looking at it. Stop trying to hush it. Stop petting it. As soon as your dog engages in attention getting barking, disconnect all attention from your dog. Refrain from giving it eye contact, touching it. Instead, stand up, walk 10 feet into the center of the room so you're not walking towards another dog or person, and then walk back to your bench. This is brilliant. The barking will be interrupted but not rewarded. Now, make sure you get your dog involved in that wonderful animal product chew that you brought with you before the barking begins again. Fear-based barking sounds more like a warning, and it will not ever be directed at you. Your dog's body will look wary and threatening. If your dog is fearful, you want to feed your dog treats until your dog has relaxed. Don't worry, you won't be rewarding barking, but you will be changing your dog's emotional associations, and that is a really good thing.